us what the difference between int dot parse method and convert dot to int 32 method in sysop.net. So let's see. So first you are going to take integer variable n1 and the next is going to take a string variable giving the name str1 and is charging with 10. Now after ordering this one let's use n1 equal to n dot parse str1. After that the next is using console class dot right line method okay console class dot right line method and uh, insert they are going to write on the double code converting a string to numeric a string to numeric now after all doing this one let's use column and or thereafter let's use plus and here n1 now after that let's copy this one and uh, pasting down so this place we need to use here int n2 and this here going to use str2 and or this place or going to use here convert dot so writing here convert class and then after to int 32 str2 okay now or uh, this all done and here we need to uh, print the value of int now you can see everything is the same and if I run this code, so you can, okay, there is the problem. So here, this is now a console dot right line and two. So what exactly? Unassigned. Okay, we need to assign something on the end two. So here, we need to assign. Now, after that, let's run. You can get to hear the same output of this two uh, things like uh, using uh, converting a string to numeric with the help of int dot parse and convert dot to int. Now, if I use here this place, if I give null on this uh, uh, str2, okay str2 has so uh, null so now uh, we can do conversion of this one without any issue so when that found the null this return 0 so here int n2 and convert str a string variable str2 initialize with the null and here this is now n2 is the integer tab so convert dot to int so str2 has null so this place that receive here null so null that converted so if i take the cursor on this okay so here you can see or uh, to int method so convert the specified string representation of number so this is used to convert any string to a specified number to equivalent 32 bit sign integer and here there is the one condition or 32 bit sign integer is equivalent to number in value 0 return if the value is null so this will return the 0 when that here you uh, this value is now null inside that received null okay but if i give this place null i have given this so uh, str1 so here this time using in dot parse and here str1 that receive null so null trying to convert into integer forms so definitely this will uh, in dot parse method this will give uh, exception 
so value cannot be null so this here if you pass or this place null so there is the exception that generated and handle exception value cannot be null okay so this is the two difference here if you are using convert dot to int and a string null then this will do the conversion and return the value of zero but if you are using here in dot parse and if, when that receive null so this will generate the exception okay this is the most important to, or difference so between in dot parse and convert dot to int and rest both are working or same so if you give or anything like uh, 34 okay so uh, there is no any problem with this code uh, 34 and here 0 it's uh, returning if you give 34 on the string so this will or uh, do the conversion without any issue and if you give here null so null that received and the use of 2 int so this when that want the null then that return the 0 this will not return any exception so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you